Juno, our third stop on our Alaskan seven-day cruise. Juno, by far, was my favorite port stop. We were lucky enough to be able to get there at 7.30 in the morning and stay until 8.30 at night. We started off by going to the Mendenhall Glacier. Uh, we just took a taxi. It was $60 on the way there, $60 on the way back. When you pull up to port, you're right in the middle of town. You get off, you can get a taxi, head to the glacier. Now, weirdly enough, they drop you off a mile and a half away from the, the Mendenhall Glacier um, center. And so you have to walk down the side of the road the whole time, but you have a gorgeous view. That is a, the glacier from the side of the road. I mean, can you imagine driving by that every single day of your life? The forest is to your right, and it was just gorgeous, just spongy. It felt like a trampoline, a little pond, lots of, lots of woods and trees and great photo opportunities right along the side of the road. Um, there was a sign that said bear crossing. We did not see any bears while we were in Alaska whatsoever, but you know, you're just kind of walking down the side of the road and it's, you know, a mile and a half little trek up to the glacier and you're kind of wondering if you are going to see a bear, but you didn't. Um, it, was, it felt very safe. Lots of people were walking because again, the taxis just dropped you off a mile and a half from the center. If you had an excursion that you bought, those buses would pull up to the glacier, but if it was just a taxi, they did drop you off a ways away. It still was great because if we wouldn't have been dropped off there, we would have missed all these great views that you're currently seeing. Once we got to the um, Mendenhall Glacier Center, there was lots of little areas you could hike. Um, Nugget Falls was a hike you could go to. All the water, all the way around there, you could just kind of wander around. There was education about the glacier. You could go in and hear um, a native speak, which we did. It was really neat. It was just really gorgeous there. You can see in the water behind us that people are doing excursions where they got up close to the glacier. I don't know, we didn't really want to do that. And we had, you know, already planned a whale watching tour in Juno. We did not realize we were gonna have a full day. It was due to a medical emergency on the boat. And so we unexpectedly had all of this time at Juno, and I was so thankful because we had a lot planned and we got to do every bit of it. The hike to Nugget Falls was definitely worth it. It's on a paved, there was people with strollers even on it, um, on a paved little road, and you just walk down to Nugget Falls. It's not too hard, and you get right up close to the water. It's so loud too, all the water rushing down. It was, it was really breathtaking. Alaska by far has been one of the most beautiful places that I have ever been. This is in the fall uh, of September, 2023, probably about September 10th, 2023. We had great weather on our trip. It did not rain in Juneau uh, until about four o'clock. And that's when we were on our whale watching tour. As you can see how big Nugget Falls is, you can climb right up on the rocks next to it. So definitely do not go to Juno without going to the glacier. That way you definitely can see glacier. You get to all these fun activities. We spent most of the morning there. And then what's weird is your taxi can't drop you off, but they can pick you up at the, the center. So they would park at the center. You didn't have to walk another mile and a half down the road. We headed to Tracy's King Crab Shack. Um, our taxi driver basically told us not to go to the main one on the pier. It would be too packed. So we did the other one. Uh, it was $233 for four pounds of crab. And that was plenty because you can see how big those crab legs are. We split it between four of us. 
I think we've got maybe two drinks and some French fries, um, but it was really good. So we did the cook shack version instead of on the pier and there was maybe three other families in there. So it was completely not packed at all. And it was good. And when you're in Alaska, you have to have king crab. I mean, it's just kind of a must. Look how big that shell of that leg is. We took some fun pictures on our way out. Super glad we got to do that. Now, if it's not raining, I suggest doing the tramway up the side of the mountain. Um, it was not raining and it wasn't super foggy. So we decided to go ahead and do that. It was about $25 a person. We did not pre-buy tickets because again, we didn't think we'd have time for this, but ended up with a full day in Juneau. It did take us up. As you can see, it's taking us up the mountain as we take pictures and you can see the ships all in the background. Really pretty. When you get up to the top of the mountain, there's also little areas you can hike and walk around and keep going. You could spend half a day up there easily. We were up there for a couple hours. Um, totem poles everywhere, a gift shop, more education, that kind of thing. Uh, we did see some homeless when you would look down from the tramway. That's about all we saw in Juneau, except for maybe one right on the port. The mountains are beautiful up there. The scenery was gorgeous up there. You just felt like you were very high, which you were. The tramway line was long, but you went through very quickly. And then you just rode it back down again. We started off our well watching tour. They met us at the pier. Um, they took us on a little tour of Juneau, stopped there for some photo ops. It was just starting to sprinkle, and this is the first time, guys, that it really has rained in Alaska on us. We are on the boat. It had windows that you could open whenever we'd see it well. Oh this was gosh. within five minutes of being out on the you water. It was amazing. Look at that thing go, girl. God, so there was a mama <laughs> and a baby. Wow. Holy. Look at wow. that thing go. Look at oh, <gasps> there's two, there's one blowing. Look at that thing. Did you see that yes. one? Come up and go down. Again, our whale watching tour was fantastic. We were out on the we were oh, it's close. with them in the boat and being, you know, drove back and forth to the pier for about four and a half hours. A marine biologist was on board um, educating us on all the marine wildlife. Uh, the captain was also very knowledgeable. She educated us the whole way there and the whole way back. Um, it was really neat. It was also neat to learn about these people's lives. She normally was in Hawaii in the winter and Alaska in the summer as a marine biologist. Seeing all the wells was crazy. Just let you know how, how amazing it is. And we saw probably 10 different wells while we were out on the water. And even though it was raining while we were out there, you could go out on the front of the boat and be open air, which is where we are right now when this is being videoed. And it was big enough to hold about five or six people in the open air. And it was raining, but it was more like a mist. It wasn't just pounding on you. Yeah. Oh, wow. They educated us that when you see a well's tell, like you're getting ready to see, and it goes down, it will stay down for about 10 minutes after you see their tell, because they're taking a deep dive. Anyway, we love Juno. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Have a great day.